I'm Pastor Larry Huggins, and this is your In Him Minute number nine. I want to start today by talking to you about the principle of substitution and identification. I actually like to use the, a different order. I like to say identification and substitution. It really doesn't make any difference. But if you're going to be a student of Pauline theology or what some people call new creation realities, you need to understand the very important concept of identification and substitution. Let's start by reading Galatians 2.20. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but it's Christ that lives in me. And the life which I live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Let me point out the prepositions in the scripture. We know that a uh, an in him scripture can be identified because it has a prepositional phrase that tells us something of who we are, what we have, and what we can do through our divine union with Christ. So, I'm crucified with Christ. There's a preposition, with. And then uh, the next one is, I live by the faith of the Son of God. Uh, of and by are both prepositions. So, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me, there's another preposition for. So we have the prepositions with, by, of, and for in this verse of scripture. All right, enough of that. Let me show you how to read this to make it more personal. And I'll use my name here. Larry W. Huggins is crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, Larry W. Huggins lives. Yet not Larry W. Huggins, but Christ lives in Larry W. Huggins, and the life which Larry W. Huggins lives in the flesh, Larry W. Huggins lives by the faith of the Son of God who loved Larry W. Huggins and gave himself for Larry W. Huggins. You do that and put your own name in there, make it personal, and you'll be surprised how it, uh, how it changes the impact that it has on you when you make it personal. Now, here's something that I want to point out. Yes, I am crucified with Christ. And uh, yes, the life that I live in, in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God. And what stands out to me, and this is what I want to share with you, is living by the faith of the Son of God. That's not just your faith in Christ, but the faith that Jesus had that took him to the cross for you. Have you ever thought about this? Jesus had faith, he has faith, and you are the product of his faith. Your salvation is the product of his faith. He trusted God, he believed the messianic promise, promises. He went to the cross and he did it by faith in the word of God, which prophesied or predicted what he would do. He knew ahead of time that he would be despised. He knew ahead of time that he would be rejected. He knew ahead of time that he would be, uh, he would be beaten. He knew ahead of time that he would be pierced. He knew ahead of time that he would be mocked. He knew ahead of time that he would be tempted, that he would be betrayed, that he would be forsaken that he would be pierced, that he would hang naked on the cross. He knew ahead of time that he would carry your sins and sicknesses and my sins and sicknesses. He knew ahead of time that God would lay upon him the sin of all humanity. He knew ahead of time that he would suffer for the sin of every person who ever lived throughout history. He knew ahead of time that he would pay a terrible price. That's why he agonized in the Garden of Gethsemane and he prayed, God, if it's possible, let this cup pass from me. What cup was he talking about? The bitterness, the, the, the terrible things that he would have to endure and go through. But he said, nevertheless, thy will be done. Aren't you glad for that nevertheless? He knew full well what awaited him, what was before him, a horrible ordeal. But he did it anyway. That was his faith in action. And if he had not trusted God to keep him and to raise him up on the third day and to restore him and to raise you up with him, then we wouldn't be here now if he didn't have faith. So your life is a product of the faith of Jesus and Jesus' faith never, never fails. Praise God. That means that all the promises in Christ Jesus are yes and amen to the glory of God. Praise the Lord. I'm living by the faith of the Son of God. The Son of God has faith. He had faith. He continues to have faith. 
and my life that I live, I'm living by his faith. Praise God. He's the one who believed that I would be saved. He's the one who believed that God would raise me up. He's the one who believed that I would be restored and redeemed. He's the one who had faith. So many times we talk about our faith. We even brag about our faith. We want more faith. But let me tell you something. My faith is in his faith. My future is in his faith. My salvation is in his faith. Now, these are the kind of teachings you're going to get in these In Him Minutes. I'm going to teach you everything I can about who you are, what you have, and what you can do through your divine union with Christ. So be with me every weekday for a new In Him Minute. You can go back and get the other In Him Minutes on demand. They're on my website, too, and they're on YouTube. So you can get these. One other thing I want you to consider is tuning in Facebook Live every Sunday morning. My wife Loretta and I have a live broadcast and we share for about 40 minutes and we always have a wonderful message and we pray for everyone and then we have a live communion service. That's great. It's worthwhile in itself to tune in just for the communion service. And the last thing I want to ask is that you pray about becoming my partner. My wife and I live in Spain and minister in post-Christian Europe and the United States and the world. We've been doing this for over 45 years. I have, she hasn't. Uh, I started way before she did. But uh, I would love for you to be our partners and participate with us every month. He who receives a prophet, because he is a prophet, gets the prophet's reward. God bless you. See you next time.